Hello, it is week 13 and this week we are going to talk about solutions. Now solutions are mixtures and typically when you say the word solution you're talking about watery stuff. Um, something dissolved in something else. So salt in water when you make pasta, sugar in water when you make Kool-Aid. Those are the typical solutions we think of. But there's also solutions all over the human body. Blood, plasma, urine, um, the fluid inside and around your brain. All of those are mixtures and fluids. And there are a whole bunch of unique properties of solutions. So we're going to spend this week kind of talking about those, but we're going to begin talking about the very unique properties of water. Water covers two thirds of our planet and it has some special properties because of its unique polar nature. One end of the molecule is a little bit negative. The oxygen end, the hydrogen end is a little bit positive. And that just, even though the molecule is neutral, that negative front end of that water molecule means that it's polar. And that polar properties gives it a whole bunch of unique properties. So we're going to spend a lot of time talking about water. Then we are going to get into some of the things that water molecules do very well, but other liquids do as well called cohesion, adhesion, capillary action, and surface tension. This is when molecules interact with each other, cohesion, they stick to each other, adhesion, unlike molecules stick, capillary action, how molecules are attracted to other molecules and actually make them rise through tubes like capillary tubes when you draw up a little bit of blood or when sap goes up very very tall trees that's capillary action and surface tension bugs crawling on top of ponds when you and I couldn't stand on a pond but a small bug or a little bit of leaf is lightweight enough that it can then we're going to define what is a solution a solute a solvent, the thing being dissolved and the thing doing the dissolving. And then types of solutions, um, colloids, suspensions. And then how do you make a colloid? Colloids are when you have one thing suspended into another that doesn't fall out of solution. Um, and the particles are so big that you end up with something that is opaque. So we're going to get into a discussion about that. Um, and then lastly, we're going to talk about what increases the rate of solubility. How do you make things dissolve faster? Well, if you've ever made Kool-Aid or powdered lemonade, you know that stirring helps. Um, and if you're dissolving salt or sugar in water to try and make cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving or make candy, something like that, you know heating helps. So we're going to go into some of the chemistry of those things. So a very fun solubility week and uh, enjoy. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.